that just leaves the question of what constitutes a valid instance using our representational choices up above. So I'm just going to scroll back up there and look at what we've got. We have most of SMP as it was, plus we've got NM for the number of men and NW for the number of women. And remember, we already actually specified what's probably the most important new constraint, which is that NM has to be greater than or equal to NW because we stated up above that there are at least as many men as there are women. Otherwise, again, this is going to be about the same as SMP. That is, there should be, well, let's go ahead and write it down. So what does a valid, valid instance look like? It looks like NM and NW, let's say values. Well, let's be even more specific. Uh, natural numbers, so natural number values for NM and NW, where NM is greater than or equal to NW then we need the preference list themselves. And we can just assume that, say, the men's preference list come first and then the women's preference list, that's totally fine. Uh, so for the men's preference list, we can assume that they're in order. So M1's preference list is first and so on and so forth. So we'll just say then NM permutations of w equals 1 to nw, the set of women. And then, and these are the men's preferences. And then nw permutations of m equals 1 up to mm. And those are the women's preferences. And that's all we need.